everybody and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm sharing with you guys a new meal that I'm going to try. This is something new and it is called taco casserole. So here is all the ingredients that you guys need. Um, some of this I got at um, Aldi's, Dollar Tree. I got it all random because I was just kind of figuring stuff out. Yeah. But what you guys need is some um, Mexican blended cheese, which they didn't have. So I just got taco style cheese which is fine, and then I got some regular cheese I'm gonna mix with it. You only need about one clove of garlic. You need some taco sauce, taco seasoning. You need some olives if you guys wanna do black olives. You need some green chilies. I need about half of this can. I need about four ounces, and this is seven ounces. A onion, this is kind of a bad onion, so I'm gonna cut all the bad parts off. We got a pound of hamburger. I got 12 taco shells and then I got some sour cream also. So I'm going to start browning my hamburger. I'm going to chop up my onions and then I'm going to mince up my garlic and I will show you guys what we're going to do next. Okay, so what you guys did or what you guys do first is I chopped up the onion. So we're going to cook the onion and the burnt meat together. So I'm just going to start cooking this until it gets brown and then I'm going to add the garlic. So I'm just going to let this brown a little bit and then start mixing it and then I'll add the garlic in just a little bit. I also have my oven preheated to 375 degrees. So while my food is cooking, it says lightly grease the pan. So we're just going to lightly grease it. Probably I'll take a napkin and just kind of, it's going out of focus. Okay, so I just kind of greased it up a little bit. Um, it's not a big deal. So I'm still cooking the meat. Um, I'm just going to keep, you know, make sure everything's good to go. Um, I'm pretty excited to try some new meals, you guys. That's why I'm doing these videos, to share with you guys some new meals. So I'm going to continue letting that brown up, and then I'll show you guys what to do next. Okay, so here are six shells. I'm just going to kind of just break them up. You can have them however you guys want. They're broke super easy, and you're going to spread this all around um, so it's all evenly all over the bottom of the pan. So you can just spread it around some more. And now my meat's done, so I'm going to drain... I'm going to drain this real quick and then I'm going to add the garlic. So now we're just going to put the garlic in and just let it cook for another minute until all the garlic's pretty much all cooked up. Okay, so now that garlic has been cooking for a minute, so what we're going to add now is a half a cup of the uh, taco seasoning, or the taco sauce. Okay. We're also going to add three quarters cup of water. We're also going to add the whole seasoning mix. And then, like I said, you don't have to drain the chili juice, but we're going to use about half of this. Um... Yeah, so I'm just going to stir this in until all the liquid dries up. I have it over medium heat right now. So we're just going to mix this all up and let the um, liquid dry up. Okay, so I didn't really mean that the, the liquid absorb, but it is now, you know, more of a sauce. So what we're going to do is pour half of this on the shells and then make some layers. Okay, so I did divide the pan in half. So what we're going to do is just kind of spread it all over the top. And then, um, then I'm going to add cheese. So let me continue spreading this. And then we'll add some cheese to the top. And then we will repeat this all over again. So this is about half of it. We're just going to kind of spread it all over the pan. Um, it's kind of hard to get it because these chips are like super slippery, but we're just going to kind of get it all over. Get, kind of get those corners. Okay, now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pour about a cup of cheese. I'm going to layer it with a cup of cheese, so we're just going to get it all over the place. 
then now this is the taco sh sh cheese you guys can use regular cheddar cheese if you want um, whatever you guys want to do so then what I'm gonna do now is take some more of those chips so I got the rest of the six of the chips that we got right here and I'm actually gonna break them and do another layer of chips all over the place Okay, so I did use a little bit of a bigger pan than what they asked for. You guys can use a little bit of a smaller one, but this is what I had, so this is what we're going to work with. So just going to kind of spread that meat around some more and then add another layer of cheese. So I'm just trying to get the meat all spread all over the place. And now we're going to do another layer of cheese. So I got my cup right here, and I'm just going to put some cheese in it. So now we got the cheese, so we're just going to spread on the final layer of the cheese. I'm probably going to add a little bit more because this is the top, so I want it to be covered with cheese. Now you guys can add green chilies to this. I am not a big green chilies fan, so I'm going to add some black olives. I'm not a big black olives fan, but I do eat it with, you know, certain foods. So we're just going to add some more cheese to it just to cover up, you know, more of the top um, for that. Okay, and now I got my, my sliced black olives, so I'm just going to kind of just put them all over the place. Um, just kind of spread them all over. And like I said, I had my oven preheated to 375, so we're going to bake this for 20 to 25 minutes and see how it looks after that. So I had this in here for exactly 20 minutes, and it looks good. I'm ready to taste it. It smells really good. Um, you can serve this with sour cream. That's why I have the sour cream. So we're going to plate this up and see how it tastes. Okay, you guys. So we have eaten about half of this. I really enjoyed the meal. The husband was not as happy with it. He really did like it, but he didn't like the sogginess of the chips. So one thing I recommend is um, actually just cooking the meat and the cheese and everything in the thing and then put it on some chips that's what I recommend doing but other than that would I make this again yes just make it a little bit differently so just wanted to share with you guys a new recipe for you guys to try and let me know how you guys make it if you make it the same way as I do let me know I still like it I still liked it either way but again thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later bye bye